Breaking news. The late Herbert Wigwe's father slums and rushed to the hospital on the day that his late son, Herbert, his wife, Chizoba, and son, Cheesy, were being buried in their hometown. Hello, everyone. You're so much welcome. Indeed, it's a sad day today, Saturday 9th of March, 2024, when the legendary banker, uh, CEO of a bank, rather, late Herbert Wigwe, his son and his wife were buried in Isiopo River State. The past one week or so when he lost his life in a chopper crash in the United States of America, Nigerians have been thrown into mourning. Never have we had such tragedy where a father, a mother and a son will lose their lives in such an unfortunate incident. It's been a week-long activities of burial rites and events lined up to celebrate the lives and times of the late banker par excellence. A lot of people have not been able to get over the very emotional speeches given by people like ex Emir of Kano, Sanusi Lamido, um, Dangote Aliko, um, and other people like the PA Faleye who escaped the narrowly escaped the unfortunate flight. The driver, Herbert's driver, who has been with him for over 20 years, and a whole lot of people. It's very heartbreaking because honestly. We have never seen this kind of thing before. More so, it's so heartbreaking that he has aged parent, his 89 years old father, pa single, Wigwe, and he also has a mother. Hmm. How could an 89 year old father take the demise of a breadwinner of his family? At the age of 89, the body is weak. The muzzles are weak. And the greatest disaster, the worst disaster, sorry, that can ever happen to any parent is to lose a child, even if the child is still in a pregnancy form. Now losing a son who is 57 years old, the same day with his wife and the first son is something that you don't have to relate it to any one of them to feel it. In fact, if you go online today, the videos of the proceedings and his last journey home to his resting place that he had prepared within the Wigwe University, his latest project, which he has given everything to, to make it one of the best universities in Africa and in the world. So we are all shocked when the news filtered in that his father, single Wigwe, Wigwe um, slumped. He's said to have reportedly slumped today and was brought to a nearby hospital for immediate treatment. Hmm. This was made known by a popular influencer on X, formerly Twitter, Tony Obuago, while disputing reports that the late Bologna's father has passed on. He wrote, Robert Wigwe's father is not dead, please. He only slumped and has been taken to the hospital. Mekuna slowed down with all this bad news. Hmm. Thousands and thousands of mourners, state governors like Dakwa Biodo, um, Governor Sonwulu of Lagos State, um, Governor Fubara of Delta State, we even have the minister, um, that's um, ex-minister Rutimi Amechi, we also have the current minister. On, honestly, it's just a roll call of our elites who perhaps will see this occasion as a very reflective one on their own lives because it just takes you to watch the week-long event videos of how people have been talking of the great impact that this late Herbert Wigwe has made in their lives. Now, with this coming in, um, the mourners gathered today, like I said, at Ikwere Local Government Area of River State 
before the funeral. They were buried after a combined funeral service at the Redeemed Christian Church of God, RCCG Lion of Judah Parish, Isiopo. Hmm. Rigwe passed on with his wife and son on the 9th of February 2024 in a helicopter crash in the United States, which has left everybody in a very mournful mode. Now let's take some comments. Somebody said, Naman slum, so cause the pain is too much and unbearable, but people are wondering why his daughter are no stand-up Greek person. Another said, Now wow, this is very sad. May God give Baba the strength for this great loss. Another said, He is in so much pain to have to bury his own son. No parents should have to do that. May our children not be buried before us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Another said, It's not easy for him. He buried three of his family. Only God can console him. Any parents reading this shall not bury their children or younger one. Amen. Another said, May our parents not bury us. This is so sad and unfortunate. Another, another said, May our parents never bury us and may we never bury our children. That is the worst thing that can happen to any parent. Another said, This is just so much pain the heart can bear. May the Lord restore him and show the Wigwes family mercy. Another said, Affliction will not rise a second time. May God help him. Another said, I'm a total stranger, but my heart skips, skips and beats and races faster. Each time I see their news, this pain is intense. May God give the family the fortitude to bear this irreparable loss. Another said, this is the kind of situation where as a friend of the bereaved, you shouldn't even know what words to use to console them because you are too weak yourself. If a total stranger like me could be feeling this bad, just imagine how the family and friends are feeling. It's a calamity. I'm so sorry for your loss, Papa. And to the kids left behind, I'm beyond sorry for your loss. I wish I could give you beer hugs for hours. Another said, this tragedy is too much. Oh, God, take control. Another said, it is a photocopy of his dad. God consoled the Wigwes family. Another said, he's strong to endure to this day. Father bearing son, daughter-in-law and grandson, not an easy sight to behold. May God strengthen him. Another said, this pain is just too much. We don't know him, but after seeing those three coffins, my day just spoiled. Another said, dear Lord, let there be no more loss and sorrow for this family. At least give them years to recover, if at all they would, before you let nature take its course again. Hmm. Another said, Rise up, O Lord. Please end this pain in this family. Let your blessings pour on them. Another said, Too much to take. May God heal him from this unbearable pain. Another said, Hmm. Seriously, all parents' prayer is for their children to bury them on their old age, not the other way around. This is so heartbreaking. God, please keep this family strong at these very hard times. So those are a few we can take. Honestly, it's been a very draining week watching. If you cannot take it mentally, uh, maybe you should not watch the videos because um, the speech is given, like I said earlier, that God, uh, somebody like Lamido crying and he relating how he had handed over his properties in, in trust to Wigwe so that his children will be taken care of in case anything happens to him. And unfortunately, the same we agree is no more. What is life exactly? Thank you very much for watching. A very black day in Nigeria indeed. May the souls of the late Abat Wigwe, his wife Chizoba and his son Chizi find rest. Thank you and bye.